Today is Wednesday, July 12, 2023. I received this word from the Lord at 10, 12 this morning, Eastern Standard Time. He said specifically that this is a warning uh, for those who do not know him at all and also to those who think that they do. As always, I would encourage you to test the spirit. We test the spirit by the Holy Spirit. And all that means is that you don't take my word for it, that you, um, in your own personal prayer time, bring this word back to the Lord and ask him to confirm or deny what was spoken today. You can also hear from the word, uh, the Lord um, in his word. Uh, amen. The Lord is alive and active and sharper than a double-edged sword, and he will speak to you there as well. This is what the Lord said. A time is coming, it approaches, a time of great tribulation like the world has never seen, a time of great suffering where the quality of one's work will be tested. Many of you claim to know me and know me not. Your words towards your brethren are hateful, self-righteous, lacking grace and a stench in my nostrils. Your holier-than-thou attitude is offensive. You have no righteousness apart from me. You are quick to point out the sins of your brother and where you think they fall short, but cannot see past the board in your own eye. None of you earned my grace. I have given it to you freely. So why act as though you are so great? You say you speak for me when I have not spoken. You will be judged for every idle word you speak. Your pride kept you from admitting where you fall short, but all have sinned, all have fallen short. I looked to see if any were good, if any had understanding, but no one was good, not one. I sent my only begotten son that whosoever believes in him would not perish, but have everlasting life. You do good to believe, even the demons believe and tremble. But if you truly believe, where is my honor? Where is my reverence? Why have you not humbled yourselves? I am the Lord. That is my name. Awesome in power and strength, glory and splendor. I do not lie. All my promises prove true. My faithfulness is great. My steadfast love endures forever. I am your blessed hope, hope beyond the grave. One day you will stand before me confident in your good works. And I will say, depart from me. I never knew you, you who practice lawlessness, you who worship other gods and practice the customs of other religions, religions that have a form of godliness, but deny the power thereof. I said I would fill you with my spirit and with power. So why are you powerless? I said, greater works will you do. I said, I would pour out my spirit on all flesh and that your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams and your young men will see visions. I said, my sheep know my voice. And then you run from my prophets who do not speak in their own authority, but in mine. You cannot discern because you do not have my spirit. You test the spirit using your own wisdom, not mine. You call false what I have called and chosen. You call common what I have called blessed. Are you a better judge than I am? Do you perceive something I do not? Shall you teach me things I do not know? I who elevate valleys and bring the mountains low. I who know all the stars by name. I who dress the lilies and feed the sparrows. I who sustain every living thing. Foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? What can you do apart from me? If I withdrew my breath, you would cease to exist on the earth. I have loved you with an everlasting love, yet you treat my love like a burden. Shall the one who created you, who gave you life, not have any expectations of you? Or do you not know that all creation worships me. The mountains bow at my command. The heavens roll up like a scroll. 
Have you no fear of me? Shall I idly watch as you curse and slander those made in my image and likeness because you do not approve of their delivery or outward appearance? Do you disapprove of my choice? Shall I consult with you before making my decision to exalt or to bring low man made of the dust? I will do no such thing. I am the Lord of hosts, the God of the living. I give my glory to no one. My understanding is unsearchable. I perceive your thoughts before you think them. My ways are higher than the heavens. I use the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. What can you teach me that I don't already know? All power is in my hands. My wisdom is limitless. Humble yourselves and become wise for pride comes before destruction and haughtiness before a fall. I am calling you to come out from among them, to be separate, to turn your eyes away from worthless things that have no benefit. They that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Humble yourselves, seek my face, turn to me and live. Repent of your sin and I will receive you. I am the only one who can forgive your sin. I poured out my blood to atone for every sin you would ever commit. My grace is great. My patience is greater. I always complete the good work I started in you. Draw near to me and I will draw near to you. Seek me while I may be found. Those who seek me with their whole hearts will find me. But if you reject me on the earth, I will reject you before my Father in heaven. You will be cast away with the hypocrites. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The wages of sin is death. That death is eternal and has no end. Hell is a place prepared for the devil and his angels. But you forfeit your own soul by rejecting me. The Lord then brought me to the following confirmations, which I would encourage you to read. Matthew 20, 15. Mark 6, verses 2 to 6. Mark chapter 6, verses 11 to 12. Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 31. Isaiah Chapter 21, verse 8, Psalm 115, verse 1, Second Chronicles, chapter 12, verse 12, Second Samuel, chapter 22, verse 31, First Samuel, chapter 16, verses 6 through 7, First Samuel, chapter 16, verses 10 through 11. Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse 32. And Deuteronomy chapter 8, verses 19 through 20.